Welcome back, everyone. And for Ed, give me another set episode with more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Part 1 with Teal Mask on the Nintendo Switch. So, welcome to it. So, last time, because uh, we have um, visited here as we uh, journey to Kitakami. So, we're in Moss Sweet Town. It's where we are just now. And there's like a little bit lot more places to go around here. So, we're able to go and pick up several more of these uh, Pokemon along the way. So, we got here this energy route, which uh, might as well come in handy. And let me go ahead and talk to this lady. Such a handy shop. PC is a, such a handy shop to have around. Sure, they got all your items needed covered. But more importantly, the little old lady who runs the place knits the woman's socks ever. Yeah, you know I mean, she, she don't have anything fancy. Not anything in particular, but less more cooler that way. I mean, we, we just wanted to stick around to, to buy some, some, some few more clothes. Okay, so um, we did pick up here. It's um, a whole lot of everything here. So we go talk to this person. You do what with rice? Let me get this straight. You put rice in any of your sandwiches. Don't see that around. Keep the kami. Yeah, I don't think that counts by everything. Okay, so we are discovering some brand new Pokemon around here. Well, I'm not entirely seeing any brand new Pokemon. Not by 100%. Okay, so it seems to me because we are picking up here is uh, a whole lot of items lurking all over the field. And yeah, so I can still bring out, bring, bring out my Karidon. Cool, alright. So now we can go ahead and, and ride around and just do whatever we want. I mean, we can, we can go do the sprint. And yeah, well, there, there were going to be some more Pokemon training that we got to we gotta go battle along the, the way. So yeah, so let's stick around by catching some Pokemon if we get a chance. Okay, so we did encounter here is a Wooper. So I don't, I don't well, remember if I catch her with Wooper. So let's go in for it with Great Ball to see if we get it. Okay, so it's going to keep still, is it? Of course. So we did catch a Wooper. Alright, and of course, we can look at each of Pokemon results to see what we get. Okay, so... Looking at this Wooper just now, so it's transparent weakened membrane to cover his body. Touch it barehanded will cause a tangling numbness. Alright, well, I don't... I don't plan on giving Wooper a nickname. I don't feel like it's the best day to be nicknaming Pokemon right now. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and pick up this. If it's a Wooper slime, we're able to pick up. And, and we move up top, so uh, there were going to be some few new items available, so let's just pick them all up while we still can. Okay, so that's another brand new Pokemon, so this here is Cutie Fly. So it's still the same old example, we go and catch one with Great Ball. Alright, so let's see if it's going to hold still. Alright, so we did capture a Cutie Fly. Alright, so we go and skip all of this. Alright, so when it's a sensitive the auras of people or Pokemon who are having fun, it will draw closer and give them a painful poker with a long proboscis. I see, well that's quite interesting. Alright, well you know what? Yeah, so we can go ahead and send that to the boss if we must. So that already got registered, so that's a brand new Pokemon what we, we, we usually encountered. And I get the feeling that we have not encountered a Pikachu and a, a Raichu just yet. Well, we already got I already got Pikachu already because I didn't catch a, a Pikachu or a Raichu. Okay, so we can just go ahead and feel free to move around this whole field and just uh, look into to see if there are any brand new Pokemon that we can battle up along the way. So that's another bit of Pushinia. Okay, so um, I I remember back some previous episode we we're able to do the showdown on. Cle Clem Clemine is a is that is her name, and of course uh, we we able to to take out uh, three of her Pokemon, which is quite epic. Okay, so now it's failed to go use Sucker Punch. Well, at least you suck to use, you to use that. I mean, all right, so we're going for with Great Ball again. So let's see if the Pushinia is not going to break out of the Great Ball this time. Alright, and we do capture ya. Okay, so we go and look at each Pokemon. So each Pokemon gain experience points, and we got the, the fan of the Pushinia. 
So the bears and lot of things and bites vigorously to try to intimidate the opponent, but this is actually a manifestation of his cowardly nature. Cool, alright. So uh, we'll go and send back to the boss as it go registered. Okay, so now we go look at this. Okay, so that's how one of the other new Pokemon we're able to capture. Alright, so we keep moving. So there's uh, one of the new Pokemon we need to go capture. So, nah, you're not getting away from me. I want to capture you. Okay, so this Pokemon seems brand new around here. So this here is Sawaddle. You know, or more like a uh, D-Waddle from Kirby. Okay, so we go capture it. So it's going to shake three times and it's going to stay flash on green. Alright, and we keep at it. Alright, so e Pokemon gain a little bit of a spin point. So see why don't choose on lead to the make it clothing is a trying to mimic of a leafy leafy garment, leave any first adjusted it in. Okay, so we'll go and send that to the boss if we must. And we'll keep on exploring some more. Pick out some more few stuff around here. And we go and adventure out. So we're able to pick up here is Roy, which is a brand new to him. Alright, so we get, we pick up here is Hyper Potion. And we pick up here is Ordinary Potion. Okay, so I really do don't feel like it's the best day to be catching or battling uh, Puccina right now. So let's look up let's make a run for it. Alright, so um yeah uh, uh, uh Palmio, I want you to go clear the Pokemon out of the way, Jumas. Okay, Palmio defeat a Spinarak. A Spinarak for me, thank you. Okay, now you know what? Um I do think this is uh, the best time we go and and keep on capturing brand new Pokemon and then uh, can we find any with their brand new? Okay, so we able to pick up here is a, a Pokeball. A Great Ball. Okay, so I don't know if I talked to you already, so yeah, let me go and talk to you. So look at it all grow. One for the right to feel to turn nice and golden and they'll be ready for harvesting. Okay, well we two are acting like they're having a good time, they're having a good date there. So I work up a I work up a sweat. You really did great. Alright, so we move this way. So I can barely see because there is a, one of us a guy that won a Pokemon battle. So we go and approach. So he's, he's saying so blue. Alright, so let's get our Karai done and go talk to this person. Alright, Wooper is so blue and cute. It's totally adorable, don't you think so too? I do think so as well. So we're challenged by Shinsaku the Ruffian. Alright, Shinshaku, what you got? So you you sending out your whooper? Well, I'm sending out my Palmio. Okay, so none of this electricity are, are going is going to affect a whooper. So we're gonna have to switch out. So we'll send, send out Lilligant. So Lilligant can go in in super effect on Whooper. So so let's see how let's see how Lilligant can pull this off at the team here. So it's going to start using Earthquake. Well, yeah, well, Earthquake has no effect. So we'll go use an Energy Ball. So we're going to restore energy and create a ball right out of it and throw it right out of Wooper's face. All right, so each team member gained more spin points. So now it's about to go send out Ekans. All right, so we'll go and switch out. No, let's go and send out Zor. Or oh, actually, we'll do Zor last. So let's go and send out Lucario. Alright, Lucario, you're up next. Alright, well, we want to make sure that uh, we don't keep the Pokemon in, in battle because we want to make sure none of these Pokemon have the have the uh, the best what it takes to to defeat Pokemon that have electricity, fire, or water type, or whatsoever. I mean, we. I, I'm just trying to get get used to the elements over here because just to imagine what po Pokemon there are and what sort of 
element type that they have. Okay, so it was gonna be weak against Aura Spear. Oh, actually, no, I think that was Focus Blast. Yeah, I I think we we I I got just I go and pull this off with Focus Blast. Whoops! And now I'm the one who blew. All right, so um, and we talked to this uh, ruffian. Wait, you're telling me that in the region you're from, Whoop Brown, Blue, Red, Brown? That's actually pretty adorable too. All right, so now that we that we finished talking to you, so we can keep us blowing a while. So there are several more brand new Pokemon that we, we can start capturing along the way. Okay, so we'll go and capture this Chimeko. So let's go and throw a great ball right out of it. Alright, so it's going to the shape three times and it's going to stay in the great ball as it's not going to break out. And yeah, so um, now that we see that Lilligan did level up to 75, which I'm proud of, so it uses the sucker on its head to the hand from a tree or from eaves. It's gonna produce a seven different tones. Okay, so now we knew it's a psychic type. All right, so it will not be nicknamed, so it will be registered to the bots like the others. Okay, so see to me because we have to go and capture all these different species of types of Pokemon. So we got orange berry, we got cherry berry, all of that chance. And yeah, so let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon. So this here is a. Spinarak that I need to go and capture. Alright, so we'll go and capture it with Great Balls. Same old, same old. Alright, so we'll go and shot you in the Great Ball. Which you will stay in which the, the Spinarak is going to stay in the Great Ball forever. Okay, so we each take a little bit of the spin points. Okay, so this is a bug in Poison type. So it says that even while there are prey and snare in its nest of spun thread, its Spinarak will wait up motionlessly until darkness falls. Um, alright, well, things are getting more interesting. So let's uh, get it in the, in the boss like the others and we can proceed by doing more expedition. So Spinarak is a register to the uh, first bookshelf. Alright, so I will move downward. So there were going to be some more Pokemon that we could pick up along the way. And there were going to be some brand new species of Pokemon which we got to keep an eye out for. And that little very is a brand new Pokemon. So yeah, because there is um, a lot of a lot of Pokemon that we got to go capture. Yeah, but there is just so much to do around here. Okay, so there's just so many sparkles and so many Pokeballs that we can find along the way. So let's just keep collecting more. Okay, so this Pokemon trainer do want a, a battle. You must be the outsider Carmine was talking about. Why, well, yeah, I mean, I'm the, the guy to, to challenge you. So we are battling with this uh, festival boy. Alright, so let's get the show on the world. So it did send out a polywag. So we'll go using Spark to see if it's going to super fat. Okay, so the Spark did super fat on Polywag. Alright, so I didn't see how many Poke Pokemon this kid have. So so it's about to send out a, a Bulby. Okay, so we'll keep the current Pokemon and see what this Bulby look like. Okay, so this is our last Pokemon, so let's go and charge it with Discharge. Okay, so I only got a, a half a potion AP. So now it's done. So it got paralyzed. And now it's gonna go for the play rock. Okay, play rock do have have to hurt a lot. Alright, so we keep spamming more discharge. And once this is over, then we'll, we'll go and heal up we'll, we'll go heal up Pomeo. And be done with it. Okay, so each guy gained a little bit of experience points. Well, no wonder people don't like outsiders. Okay, so um, we can check back at Bag and go and heal Palmio with this hyper potion, and we should be all set.
Okay, Pushy, Pushy, no, I don't want to battle you. Don't try to challenge us. Okay, so we got something that's called the Weather Ball. So, wait a minute. So, what is this? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Time out. We did get this new TM. That That's something I don't see every day. So, that's brand new. So, that, something that said Weather Ball. So, what is that? Oh, okay. So, that worked for a normal type. Okay, so uh, there's a move type and power chain depending on the weather at the time the move is used. Interesting. Alright, well... So it seems like that Lilligan can go and use the weather ball. So, Zorak, oh, I'm sorry, Zorak, that's how I said. Okay, now, Zorak can't possibly go use that move, but only Lilligan. All right. So, seems like that we got here is so many options over here. Yeah, there are a lot of options. So, you know what? I want... I want Zorak to go use the Phantom Force, so um, that's that's something that he needs to go learn. So it says if you use advantages of somewhere, then it strike via target on the next turn. This move will hit the even if the other target protects itself. Nice, alright. So we'll go and use this item. We'll go give it to Zorak. Okay, so we will get rid of the nasty plot, which we won't be needing right now. So let's get rid of it. Alright, so we're going to say goodbye to nasty plot and hello to... F F Phantom Force, of course. Alright, so uh, let's see. Now, we are done looking at TM, so I think we're all set now. Okay, well, let's see. let's keep on exploring the place and see what's new. Okay, I already got a pushing already. So, I'm able to pick up here the Pokeball. Um, hold on. I think I pressed the wrong button. It was B to jump. Okay, so we pick up here is this... The uh, another item called revive. Okay, and this Pokeball we got here is the antidote. Oh wait, oh was it antidote or no? It was antidote. I was right before. Okay, so we did battle this ruffian already. Okay, so what do we run over to? Okay, so you know what? Let's make a run for. Okay, don't feel like this is the best day to be. To be trapped passing on Pokemon which we we don't quite know of. Well, I mean we which we do quite know. Okay, so um what else we got? Okay, so we got here is a, a girl that wanna battle. So we can get off of Pokemon and go and showdown on her. Eek, you're one of those uh, people from Peldy, aren't you? Well, young lady, you are but a guy to look for. I mean, I'm your guy to battle, so let's see what you got. So you're about to go send out a circuit? A circuit, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see how this battle go. Alright, so we'll go and use more spark. Alright, let's go use more of that. And that is super fast. Okay, man. Alright, so she got wrecked. And she's about to go send out her Shingling. Now nah, we can keep the current Pokemon and keep fighting. Okay, so what have we got? Now we can. Now we can keep you to most part. To see if it's going to super fat. Why, of course, I was um, right before that. I mean, the, the spark can kick up more electricity, electricity power to go and spark on this Pokemon or whatever its name is. So this is the the Pelding style of battle, huh? Okay, and we did receive more money. Now I'm talking to you. That was so exciting for me. It was a, like a real cosmopolitan kind of battle. Why? Well, yeah, it was a uh, quite an epic one. I mean, she did a pretty good job of challenging me. All right, now let's just get on Koridon and let's go and set out the score of what we gotta be doing around here. So don't, don't see why I had to, to press the wrong button. That is so embarrassing. Yeah, but you know what? I think we're done looking around here in this whole field. So we can get off Koraiden. So we can go back to Mosweed Town. And I'm talking to you. So this ain't apples and nature. Welcome to Mosweed Town. You were known for our apples and for the natural beauty all around us. Why, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to be here. 
Okay, so pretty sure that we pick up all the other Pokeballs around here. Yeah, so I think it's time we, we go and move into the uh, community center. Yeah, I think we're done looking around. So let's go and enter to the uh, community center. Wait a minute. So we just we just paused for a minute. What just happened? Okay, um, we're about to get someone. So we got some caretakers. This way, everyone. Ever Ed, I owe you one for fashion the, the caretaker. Oh, okay, I think that caretaker is on the right. Alright, so our little travel buddy is feeling much better now, too. Alright, everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in the Katakami. The plan was to have you and the student from Blueberry Academy stay here together. But it turns out these spaces are going to be all for you, our visitor from Naranja Academy. Alright, the both two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So you cut so and you come in. Don't be shy. Alright, well we're not gonna be bashful about it. I mean we just uh, go inside community center, that's it. Come on everyone, pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, you just try to rinse off the words of a mother using the washing station by the door. Okay, well, you seem like a cool guy. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you find in one of your big fancy cities. This here is the other lounge. You can watch the TV chat or relax however you like. And well, let's see. Over there is the cafeteria and toilets will be down that way. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down by the hall there. We got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. So I think that that's about to cover everything. But if you are running into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to your fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. Alright kids, do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? We're glad to be here or thanks for having us. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's nice to want to have us here. We could, we could, we could describe that. Thanks for having us! What a bunch of well-mannered students, I can already tell you're going to be wonderful visitors. So you just think of this place as your own home away from home and relax. You must all be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit earlier still, but why don't we have dinner then call it a night? We got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites. Alright. Okay, now we are still marching to get something to eat for dinner. Bed for dinner. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like it in the community center. But remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. Alright then, well let's go out and explore. So, we can uh, check in this TV. Okay, so there's a video showing off some of uh, Kitakami's scenery playing on the, this giant screen. Um, okay, interesting. Now, talking to you, so what do you think about this place? The food here seemed really healthy, but it was still really tasty, too. Okay, so next student to talk to is you. I wonder what's scheduled for tomorrow. I'm so excited. I don't think I can sleep. Why, well, dude, you, you gotta get some sleep. I mean, you're, you're gonna stay up by morning sleep. Do you enjoy the taste of our local Kitakami fare? Why, well, yeah, I sure do. So uh, these were the other uh, restroom. Okay, so this is a girl restroom. All right, so we can't go to the, the girl restroom. This, this is the boy restroom. All right. Well, I can't. <laughs> well, that's um a bit awkward. I can't go to the boy restroom. This restroom can be used by anyone. Okay. Well, that's random. Welcome, dear Pelton student. We will provide a special service to visitors here at the uh, Katakami Community Center. If you open your bag and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that the theme of the upper and lower borders of your screen is that some menace now changes depending on your location. 
Do you want to change the setting up for the upper and lower borders on your madness? Okay, so set them back to be an old penalty theme or leave them so they match my location. Okay, well, let's just leave it. Doesn't matter. Okay, I hope you enjoy sightseeing around and keep the comedy with your current settings. Okay, so we can go ahead and change V and the theme by talking to her. And we can talk to this last student. If I check out my room and there was a bug Pokemon in there. I'm okay. Well, I can't have no grass type Pokemon, or grass or bug type Pokemon to kill it. But <laughs> okay, that that felt kind of embarrassing. But nah, we I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't do that. Ready to call it a night? Why, well, yeah. Well, I mean, let's call it a night then. Okay, so I can heal. I, I can barely hear this uh, healing music from the, from the Pokemon Center. I mean, yeah, but well, that did change uh, a whole lot of its uh, vibing music to it because we're able to go listen to it in a different soundtrack of it. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Start today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet all you outsiders. I mean, Victor from Pelzi. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm Kyron. Carmine and Kyron actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. And you two have better be a real help, you hear me? Aye aye. Right. Now that that is settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? The school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll have you split into pairs. Then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folk tale passed down here in Katakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you complete for the task, we ask that they each pair take a snapshot together in front of the signboard with their phones or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Katakami and learn all about its rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on and on, eh? Wonderful, what an innovative idea for a group activity. Oh, and I got a gift for each of you as well. Okay, so we attend here is the, the Roto Stick. So what is your Roto Stick exactly? Okay, so a sticker to rest a Rotom phone on. It allows you to take selfies from a little bit further away than you could on your own. Oh, nice, all right. So dang, all right, well, that's a pretty new, oh, okay. So the roto stick is um is something that my uh, my fam used to go use every time. Okay, well, I, I quite do remember having this uh, roto stick before. So uh, press the uh, S button uh, while in selfie mode to use your roto stick. The, the roto stick that adds some extra distance between you and the camera making it easier to take photos with your friends and Pokemon. I hear these things are all, all over the rage in the big cities. Use them, use them when you take those photos. I'll leave the tissue where it ran a post that I came up with all on my own. Okay, so we got here is the Eureka emote from the caretaker. Uh, yes, real rad. Remember that the, one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, Let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. All right then. Well, that is quite fun. Um, I love the, um, the look of this me mechanic over here because we're able to help this item, the, the key item called the, the Roto Stick. So um, let's try using it right now. So we're going to press on X and... And wait a minute, so um, how in the world do we use it again? So we just go use the D stick. Um, which one is it again? Oh, okay, so I think you were supposed to press on the, uh, the down stick. Alright, so changing your expressions. 
Um, okay, so we can press the down button while taking the selfie to change your expression. Press the down button after using the mode to change your expression without changing your pose. Combine the mode and expression to set up the shots that are uniquely yours. Okay, next one says here, you can uh, play music while taking photos with the camera app by pressing the ZL button or ZR button. Give it a try, you may find that the Pokemon you let out of the Pokeballs are reacted to the music too. Okay, photographs are taken using the camera app are saved to your Nintendo Switch system. You can view your photos in the album with the home menu. Um, okay, well, that seems quite fun. Alright, well, we, we look enough of that, so uh, let's go try it out. So, how in the world do we use the, the stick exactly? So, we just look at the camera? So, oh, oh, right, you know what? I can press on X. Okay, <laughs> my bad. I think you, I wasn't even paying close attention to the, the one on the left. Because you can see on the, uh, on the bottom beneath it, because uh, you, you can, you can go ahead and pull up your Roto stick while you're taking the selfie. Alright, so, um, let's see. Now, we can... So we can go ahead and express ourselves. Uh, what's this? Or roar? Uh, yeah, peace. I, I love peace. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go take that picture. Okay, so uh, you know what? That's perfect. All right. So we can go take that that picture. So that. Hold on. No, no, no. I don't want the the online, the people that are online. No. Let's try it again. Yes, perfect. Okay, well that's that's cool. All right, so we're able to hold on one on this uh, of this roto stick, which we got from the DLC. So uh, talking to these students, we got the four students from Naranja Academy and only two from Blueberry. So that means at least one pair will be made up of, of, of just kids from our school, right? I bet so. That girl Carmine, I'm not too sure I trust that cherry greeting from her. What? I don't want you to have to pair up with someone I don't even know. Okay, now talking to V4, be sure to tell me if a Carmine or a Kyren calls you any trouble during the day. Let's try to maximize the number of inter school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. Alright, so talking to the Carmine and Kyren, you're ever in or whatever, right? Let me guess, you wanted to pair up with one of us poor lonely blueberry students? Uh, I mean, sure, I guess. Guys, it's so sweet of you to go out of your own, of your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all ghouly eye over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you even at the home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. It says that what are you telling him of that for dummy? Hey, watch who you call dummy if you will know what's good for you. Aw oh, man. Look at him being all shy. See my brother is no good at, at talking to people. He probably never words are up for the nerd to ask at you himself, but he really like a battle with you. I mean sure, I mean that's if that make him cheer him up then uh, sure, so be it. We'll have a Pokemon battle. Well, what do you know? Turns out that you're short of nights. This'll make my brother real ha happy. Chin up, Kiki. Ever had to say he'll battle you? What? Wowzer, really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get on your position, you two. Everybody else, clear out. Make some space. I got this. Why, yeah, of course you do. Of course. Alright, so here we go. So, we are battling with Pokemon Trainer Kyron. Alright, so let's see what he got. So, he's about to send out a Sentra to battle. Alright, Palmiel, good luck on this. Hope you did your best. Wazer, I can't believe this is. I get into the battle, you. This is awesome. Okay, so hold on. So, the Everstone seems to be happening here. Yeah, so I want to make sure that the Palmio keep the Everstone on. In case something magically happens, then Palmio get to involved. So let's go for a discharge. Alright, so we go for the discharge. So we only got, only got a little bit of HP bar left. 
So it's gonna go to the dig. And we're just gonna have to wait for the right moment. So You know what? I don't want Palmeo taking damage. So let's go switch out a Pokemon. So you know what? We'll have Garcanel come out. Okay, but I don't I don't mind switching Zoroark yet. So Zoroark will have to come last. Okay, I don't want Zoroark taking any less perfect damage. Okay, so you know what? We can try out Earthquake to go finish it off. Alright, so we go finish up with the Earthquake. Alright, and the Decentral have been defeated. Okay, so each team member get to, to gain more experience. Okay, so now it's about to go send out a Yama. Alright, so uh, let's go in and put Zoroark, Zoroark in the battle. So we'll swap Zoroark to the, to the fight. Okay, so everybody, okay. <laughs> I see the caretaker is, uh, is having a good time over there, just uh, cheering on us. Okay, so whatever the caretaker is doing, but <laughs> damn, I mean, look, look to me like he's having a good time over there. Okay, so I do need to catch her that Pokemon, yeah, ma. Okay, so we got here this a new TM called the Phantom Force, so let's go use that. So let's see what the Phantom Force can do. Okay, so go advantage instantly. Okay, so it's transparent. You got this, Ajama. You cut through for the win and then show them what you got. Okay, no, I mean, Yama is going to miss that attack. So yeah, so we did avoid that attack. And then we go and unleash our natural to go and use the Phantom Force. And now it's, go it's going to start using the Air Cutter. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go one more time with Phantom Force. So uh, we we wanna not screw this up. So the, yeah, now the Phantom Force is the the best tactic to go. So yeah, so it's gonna still continue to go use Air Cutter, but it it does miss it. And now we we just go and finish things off with Phantom Force, defend the game. All right, so look at that each team member. So they each gain a little bit of SP. And we're just looking at Kyren's face. Wowzers. Okay, well, that's uh, part of his catchphrase. He's just saying Wowzers. Good show. Nicely done, kids. And nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Wowzer, you sure are strong, Ever Ed. You really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. This is an thing that we're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. What? No, sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like that we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando outsider instead of Ever Ed? Well, no, but, uh, man. Don't worry. He's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with two. A watch out for my little bro, you. Look like that you all pair up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those road time phones of yours. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you uh, find yourself in need of any potion or pokeballs or the lights, Head on over that way to been stopped by Peachy that they be happy to set you to rights. Um, so it's a little like we should probably start with the signboard at the Loyalty Plaza. That's the out path for the Apple Orchard or Orchard under the west side of a village. It's close by, and I figure it might um make sense to you know visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick to a closer, so I'll just follow you from a safe distance. All right, what we do have here is this uh, shop called Pishi. Okay, well, okay, now he say take a selfie at the uh, at the first signboard. Um, okay, well, where is the signboard at? Oh wait, so we can take a selfie at the signboard now. 
Alright, well, let's go find that. So... It doesn't really show in our map. So we, we have to go and find that. Oh, oh, I see, I see now. So we gotta go to that destination. Alright. So it says here, historic signboard. Get your first photo. Visit one of the signboards that tells a part of an old fort ta folk tale passed down in Kitakami and take a photo with Kyren. Um, okay, can do. So we'll probably head there, so let's set the destination where we know where we're going just now. Yeah, it's, it's good to run to set the destination every time we have trouble annoying our surroundings of where we're going. Okay, now talking to the two students. I mean, they're just talking to one another. I can't wait to see what Pokemon we discover while looking for both signboards. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I felt bad leaving this kid on his own, so I guess I'll partner up with him. I mean, yeah, that's good to know. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Finally, time to kick off with the school trip in earnest. Get out there and do some orienteering. You come all the way here to the Kitakami, so you sure to see everything he's got to offer. Okay, no, I want fried noodles. I'm gonna get the shave ice. Um, alright then. So, you know, you guys, I do believe that's gonna have to do it. So, before we go and end things off here, so I wanna see what these two got something to say. Okay, now, this student is chatting with Carmine. Nice to meet you, Carmine. Okay, so they finally met. Let's just do this outsider, I mean, a uh, totally ordinary guy. Okay, so. So, yeah, now those two are. Are just, uh, hitting the law on this friendship, I see. I told you that you did. Okay, so something on your mind, people? So you sure have been working hard, ma'am. Oh, yeah, so you know what? I think we already read that already. Okay, so. So yeah, so yeah, that's what I had to do for the, today, you guys. So next time on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Part 1, but Teal Mask, we are going to head on to the uh, historic signboard where we go and take a selfie by uh, using the, uh, the Roto stick. So we'll go ahead and take a selfie there, and once we do that, then uh, we'll go ahead and see what important assignment that we had to go do next. I mean, we have an epic uh, Pokemon battle with Kyren, which is quite interesting. And yeah, so uh, everything seemed quite fun actually because we're able to go and talk to to new type of people around here. And yeah, I mean, everything should do perfectly. All right, well, we'll we'll go ahead and stick around stick around more to see what we can do more fun things happen around here on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere, and you will be particular and stay tuned. Oh, I'm in a suit. So thank you guys so much, so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you're enjoying the series and you want to see more of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Part 1 with Teal Mask, be sure to leave an every time to like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you can stay up to notify to one of my newest and awesome videos have on the way. So just making sure you guys are staying tuned for everything and that will have to do all. So I thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this video. We will be picking up with more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Part 1 with Teal Mask. So take care guys, I hope to talk to you on my next video.